Mike Schmitz here with Tomás Domingos of Portugal. Just finished up the U20s in Romania. Um, got a big win. How have you guys been playing so far? Yeah, so we started we started off pretty good uh, last night against Hungary. Um, went to an overtime and won by one. Uh, it was pretty rough. Now we're just motivated. Today we uh, we had a big win. Yeah, important one. We can't we can't miss any games now if you want to go to uh, the best eight. Uh, so yeah, that's we're just motivated and focused on winning. Yeah. What can you tell us about your background? Uh, where you're from? Uh, where you play now? How long you've been playing? So uh, I'm from Lisbon. Yeah, and I started playing in uh, nuclear basketball Kelouch. Uh and uh, I played uh, afterwards in uh, Porto, in FC Porto. Afterwards, I went to uh, um, Elite Sports Academy in Seattle, and now. Now I'm going to a JUCO in uh, in Idaho, CSI. Yeah. Who who brought you over? Who helped you uh, get over to to the United States? I, j I kind of did it on my own. I just uh, I started emailing a bunch of colleges, and um, afterwards they just they just started talking back to me and got me got me into a, an academy. And I mean I, I just last year I just played in the fr in front of uh, a bunch of scouts and. Yeah, and got my my um, scholarship. Yeah, have you improved over? Have you grown or improved over the last few years? I feel I feel like physically, I learned a lot because uh, the U.S. game is much more aggressive and quick. Um, but tactic wise, I, I think I, I've improved a little, but not not that much when it comes to it, yeah. Did your parents play? Uh not not really. Yeah. So what got you started? So. It's not really because I was tall or something like that. I just started because I was. I went to a doctor once, and uh, he just said um, I had to play a sport uh, in order to not getting a, a back injury. So I, I tried. I tried soccer, but I was too goofy. So I just. I just went to a basketball team close to my to my house. So yeah, that's that's how I started. How long do you think that you'll anticipate you'll be at CSI, and what are you looking for in a in a uh, university after that? Yeah, so if everything goes well, in uh, in November I'll I'll be signing with the uh, University of Idaho, uh, the Big Sky Conference, and uh, yeah, that's that's it. Then I'm going to be doing the the three years after after the CSI one. Great, thank you so much.